After nearly three decades of leading Hacienda Healthcare, CEO Bill Timmons resigning amidst the investigation into how a 29-year-old Native American woman living in a years-long vegetative state was impregnated at the facility with no one saying anything. We've now learned she was raped several times. My heart stops. I think my heart stopped when I heard the news from my daughter. I was just horrified. I'm going, no, not Hacienda. This woman worked in a management position at Hacienda for over a decade and says she will never forget what Bill Timmons said in a closed door meeting with the leadership team. What did you witness in 1998? Oh, um, we had a manager's meeting and it was brought up that there had been an incident. She says female nurses were standing around a nonverbal male patient's bed talking inappropriately about his genitalia. The poor guy was just laying there. He couldn't communicate. He couldn't say anything. He couldn't defend himself. You know, we were talking about reporting it to CPS and Bill Timmons slammed his fist on the table and said, no, no one is going to report this. What did you think when you said that? I was horrified. By law, we are supposed to report things like that. Were you scared? I was scared. Bill Timmons had a, a temper and we knew not to mess with that temper because people got fired. Yeah. Did you watch people get fired? I saw people disappear and never come back. She says not one person reported that incident solely out of fear and believes other abuse has gone on throughout the years. But a woman impregnated with nobody speaking up while Timmons was CEO, she says that is inexcusable. But do you think in some way Bill Timmons is at fault here for what happened? I think he let things happen and didn't do anything about it, didn't let people do their job. Just, yeah, I kind of do.